too. Good. We're going to talk a little movies with you. This is a weekend we've all been waiting for. So let's start with uh, In the Heart of the Sea. In the Heart of the Sea. Yes. It's the backstory of Moby Dick, where a bunch of seamen are chasing after a sperm whale. It's really kind of thrilling stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? No, nothing. Um, well, no, so it, it, this really is. It's a backstory uh, of Moby Dick. Right. And, it's a young Herman Melville who seeks out the lone survivor of the whale ship Essex because what happened is maritime legend. But, you know, he doesn't, he needs to hear it for himself. And, and this is uh, some 30 odd years later. He feels if he, heal, if he hears the story firsthand, it might inspire his next novel. And so he finds this man who's uh, in, in his 50s and really kind of an alcoholic and is having trouble. Uh, with his personal life, and, and he's never actually shared the story before because something unspeakable happens. It's a Ron Howard movie, so as one would imagine from a Ron Howard movie, it is technically perfect. It's uh, aesthetically beautiful. The sound design is completely immersive, but it lacks something else, and that's really good character development and a solid screenplay. Hmm. Uh, the conflict is not... Uh, I mean, there's a conflict there, but ratcheting up the tension is not the strong suit of this screenplay and it really needed to do that especially because something unspeakable happens because this becomes a story of survival and when that unspeakable thing happens you're kind of, you're kind of like mm, good <laughs> <laughs> something interesting is happening because they, there's not enough whale and, and by the way i want to point out that in the story moby dick moby dick is a white whale and in this story, in actuality, the story that inspired Moby Dick, it was a sperm whale. And, and the whaling industry was, was a big deal back then because they would mine these whales for oil. And uh, that was kind of, that was the oil industry back then. Right. Uh, not to power cars, but to power you, to, for lights. Right, lamps and stuff. So they could have light, uh, so they can burn oil. And uh, that, that's uh, an interesting twist to it, but at the same time, it's, it just doesn't really come together as a fully realized, terrific movie. It's, it's actually a little disappointing to me. So two and a half out of five stars. That's interesting because some people don't get Moby Dick. So is it a situation where if you get Moby Dick, you, you get this or vice versa, or is there some parallel? Uh, uh, yeah, there's definitely a little bit. There, there's a parallel, and I think the metaphors are, are definitely similar, but it's just as a, as a movie, as a cinematic experience, uh, I wanted it to be better, and I was certainly expecting it to be better, and it just doesn't live up to its promise. All right. Uh, moving on. The Big Short. This one is much anticipated. What do you think of this one? Much anticipated and really a terrific movie. I mean, obviously, all, all of us in some way, shape, or form were affected by the financial crisis in 2008. And this movie uh, efforts to explain exactly what happened with the shorting of the mortgages and, and a few of these men who actually were able to predict it and, and knew it was going to happen, but nobody else did. And just how awful the banks and these financial firms acted and, it, you know, I think for so many people, we want to understand it, and you try to understand it, and you start reading about it, and all of the technical uh, economic jargon is just boring. Your eyes start to glaze over, and there's that conceit in this movie, and they address it, and they address it beautifully, and really explain it through humor, and even, even though it's still, a, a, at the same time, a serious movie, but what a cast, Christian Bale... Uh, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Brad Pitt. It's produced by Brad Pitt's production company. And, uh, you know, I think it's one of the best movies of the year. It's definitely going to be in my top ten, four and a half out of five stars. Beautiful. Any uh, thought on Jason Hayward as we wait in anticipation? Uh, no thoughts whatsoever. I'm just going to sit back and be patient. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why he's the best in the business, David Blaustein. He lets the story come to him, if you will. Uh, have a good week, David. Thanks for checking Thanks, in. Camera, All right. ABC uh, editor David Blaustein loves the big short. Not so crazy about in the heat of the night. Uh, heat of the, in the, the heat of the night. I don't know what he thinks about the, uh, the heat of the night, but I know he does not like in the heart of the sea. 8.27.